Hi Virgo, welcome back to my channel. This is going to be your December 26th and 27th reading, 2022 for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and the North Node. We're going to get an overall um, energy or message for the angels and ancestors deck for you. Let's see, overall energy for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, North Node, December 26th and 27th. What's the overall energy for Virgo? Okay. These two, it's two of them that came out. Okay. Overall energy for Virgo. Give me one, please. December 26 and 27. Oh my gosh. Okay. Uh, yeah, peacekeeper. Let go of the need to be right. All right. So. That's what's uh, coming out for you. That's the one that flipped over. So we're going to take that one. Okay. So let, letting go of the control or the need to be right. Guardian angel, you are not alone. Okay. So let's see. Let's clarify. So your overall energy, December 26th and 27th, okay, is um, peacekeeper. Keep the peace. Let's go of the need to be right, Virgo. Okay. If this isn't you, this could be somebody you're dealing with. So, Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus in the North Node. For Virgo, please. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus in the North Node. For Virgo, December 26th and 27th. What is the messages here for Virgo? December 26th and 27th. For Virgo, December 26th and 27th. Here you are, Virgo. Nine of Pentacles, Six of Swords. So I'm getting, I'm getting you're traveling by yourself alone, or you want to travel by yourself. You want to be alone, or uh, something like that here. Okay. But I'm getting, um, I'm getting your single because this is you, Virgo. The Nine of Pentacles, looking absolutely beautiful. Okay. Independent, self-sufficient. So I feel like you're traveling alone. Yeah, the Queen of Cups, and so you're traveling with this water sign. Or there's something about self-love, self-love. Maybe you're going on some kind of retreat or journey, or maybe you're needing to be, you know, maybe you're kayaking, or maybe you need to go on some, you just need to go away. You need peace in your life. I'm getting you, you're letting go. Yeah, the five of cups, the seven of wands, and the eight of cups with the three of swords, seven of swords, and the tower. So I definitely feel like something is being broken down here. All right, there's definitely could be, this could definitely be, Indicative of a breakup here, Five, blocking someone, but Virgo, yeah, the Five of Cups, Seven of Wands, Eight of Cups, I feel like somebody broke, there's a breakup, a lie, or there's a lot of lies and cheating that's being revealed or that's coming out. I'm getting you walking away from this. I'm getting you want peace in your life. You're going to be by yourself or you're going to, you're, you're practicing self-love with the Queen of Cups, Nine of Pentacles. How to love yourself. Yeah, guardian angel, it says you are not alone. Your guardian angels are around you. They're, 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 um... They're watching you. They're guiding you, okay? Virgo, period, point blank. Yeah, direction of guardian. Yeah, you have a lot of guardian angels. Six of Swords is our hidden helpers, our guardian angels. They're all around you, guiding you to self-love, to peace, to love yourself, to walk away from whatever this is. It is going to be disappointing, but I feel like you have to stand your ground, Five of Cups, Seven of Wands, and walk away for your self-respect, for your self-peace. Three of Swords, Seven of Swords, Tower. A lot is falling apart here. It could be with a Scorpio or a Cancer or whoever the fuck this is, okay? But this is the energy. I'm, yeah, Cancer, the Moon card. The, yeah, somebody's hiding a, a, a fire sign. The fire, the, the Queen of Wands, Leo energy, can be indicative of the other woman. So there could be another woman involved with these two queens here. Somebody could be secretly traveling to see another woman or they were. Yeah, it's a third party with the Three of Cups. I'm getting you're moving on. There's a breakup. There's an ending. You're moving on to new love, Virgo. Just period. Or maybe you're moving homes or houses or, or you're relocating or something like that. What is this for Virgo? December 26th and 27th. Yeah, the page of cups. Okay. So I'm getting something about music as well. Very, like jazz or very soft, beautiful music you're listening to while tri traveling or driving or while in this Uber or whatever this is. Yeah, the sun card. You seem to be very happy here. Yeah. Leo energy. Yeah, and the strength definitely could be dealing with the Leo. 
But the Six of Cups, this is about support and love and getting what you want. This could even be an apology. Something's making you happy. This could be from somebody from the past. Or maybe you're just doing, you're doing something. Someone's doing something very sweet and generous here for you. Making peace or you're making peace with yourself. You have Capricorn, the devil, and the Hierophant. Could be a Capricorn or a Taurus involved here. All right. But I'm getting like, um, yeah, oh, the magician fell out perfectly in the reverse. So this is manipulation. This is an opportunist, a liar. Yeah, now you're pulling the star. So the sun and the star came out. This is a liar. This is somebody that's emotionally manipulative. I feel like somebody's, somebody's very immature. I feel like broken promises. Okay, the magician in reverse is somebody that's a con. Yeah, the star, the six of pentacles, will of fortune in the world. Three of wands, temperance, and the ace of swords, the ace of pentacles. Yeah, what's the magician card in the reverse? Could be an Aries. What is this magician card in the reverse? Yeah, the death card or a Scorpio. I'm getting it's over. Somebody's manipulative ways or whatever the fuck this is is dead, it's done. I'm also about so getting somebody's going to stop doing spell work or they're changing it or something. Something here, okay? Yeah, the moon card, cancer energy. Yeah, I feel like somebody's very, that magician, I hate to see that in reverse. Yeah, somebody's very much a manipul manipulator and a liar and a con. Yeah, the three of cups and the queen of wands. It's something about a third party. What's the death card or a change? Yeah, somebody wants to apologize, Virgo, or you do. Or it could be a Scorpio that wants to apologize. I feel like somebody is very much a manipulator with that magician in reverse, a con and a liar. Yeah, somebody's coming in to apologize. So you got two pages here. They're sorry. They want to apologize. They want to give you something. Maybe you have love for this person, Virgo. But it's just an ongoing thing. Like, you just feel, yeah, the queen of swords. You're just like, uh... Yeah, I'm thinking you're going to reject somebody. Seven of Wands, Virgo. You're done. Maybe this person has given you too many dead end apologies. Someone's saying they change. But I'm getting with the Seven of Wands and the Eight of Cups, Three of Swords. Yeah, this is an X. I feel like somebody is not. I feel like somebody's a liar. I feel like they keep lying to you. I feel like you, you, this, you're in a space where you need to let go of a situation. The need to be right to see a situation for what it is. Something's not going to work. I feel like you're done. Yeah, that Knight of Cups, Eight of Cups, somebody keeps giving you these empty cups, these broken promises. I'm, I'm getting, they, they come with these fucking raggedy ass cups and, and your ass is done. You, you don't want another fucking cup. Well, like period. I've got this in somebody's reading the other day. I forgot who it was. Could be, could have been yours, Virgo, but... I don't know. I'm just getting with the three of swords. Somebody's a liar. There's always a lie. There's always a third party. You always have to walk away. There's always broken promises. I'm getting you're just tired of it. Seven of wands, eight of cups. You've walked away. You're done. It's dead. You, somebody's a manipulator and a fucking con, con and a liar with the with the um emperor card. I mean the Aries card here. The magician. Could be an Aries, could be a Scorpio, or somebody with that Mars energy. Heavy Mars, yeah, the Knight of Swords. Every time you walk away, your emotions detach, you move on, you have peace in your life, you practice self-love. Here's somebody comes with the same fucking bullshit. Yeah, it's over. Trying to charm you, use you, con you, or whatever the fuck this is. I'm getting your healing. You're really healing. You're really going through a transformation possibly right now, um, Virgo, or you need to. I feel like somebody comes in with the same fucking lies. You have to come repeatedly deal with this shit. What's the magician in the reverse? Somebody's a con. And you already know this with the high priestess. And the four of cups. I'm also getting somebody's spell work or, ma or, or whatever this is. Isn't working on you. Trying to charm you. Use you. Lie or whatever the fuck this is. What's the yet? Yeah, somebody's having a hard time. You have the ten of wands in the tower. I feel like something is, something is backfiring here. I feel like somebody has done a lot of manipulation and spell work and lies and all this shit to, to or, or something like that. And you're like, no, I'm good. Yeah, the Eight of Pentacles, somebody's doing a lot of work on you or they're working on your work or they're trying to make something hard or block you. But I feel like it's backfiring. Instead, you're walking away. You don't give a fuck. The more spell work and wicked shit this person does on you is the less you like this bitch. We have the Death card in the tower. With Scorpio and Aries energy here. Very heavy Scorpio. Yeah, the moon card could be a cancer. Somebody's always doing something behind the fucking scenes. You're trying to be at peace, practice self-love. Yeah, your back is turned to this. You do not want this apology, this fake-ass shit or nothing. I'm getting you leaving somebody 
as dead in the cold. Somebody's ego could be a little bit bruised or fucked up here. Yeah, the seven of swords, because somebody's always fucking lying. Yeah, the, the um, king of cups and the chariot, a cancer. Heavy cancer, they're a liar. They're a cheater, they're a con. The magician in reverse is one of the worst cards to get. Somebody does spell work, somebody does a lot of wicked ass shit. To cause it, what's the ten of wands, eight of pentacles? Yeah, somebody puts a lot of work. Yeah, cancer, period. What's the eight of pentacles in the, um, yeah, that's sneaky as fuck. Seven of swords, a liar. What's the eight of pentacles, ten of wands in the tower? So like somebody trying to, yeah, and, and the queen of wands, yeah, something's being revealed about about someone or about this queen of wands is the, or, or, or whatever the fuck. Something's coming out about a third party because the three of swords is a third party. That's lies. That's hurt. That's being stabbed in the heart several times. Just like the ten of swords is as well. Yeah, the world card and the queen of swords. There's another queen. So I'm getting things are closing out with the air sign or some or somebody's being rejected by this fire sign. And you, I, I just feel like, I, I don't know, man. I'm just getting, yeah, there's a very, yeah, the eight of swords. I'm just getting something that goes in circles here. The five of wands or someone's trying to sabotage someone because they're jealous. They're jealous of this queen of wands or they're jealous at the fact that you, that somebody is sexy or whatever the fuck this is, okay? I'm, good, I'm getting going in circles, competitive energy, arguing and fights, a lot of chaos and shit going on here. I'm getting you just want peace with peacekeeper here. Okay, you want peace, but every time somebody comes towards you, it's always bullshit or it's always drama. Things are peaceful for a second, and it goes back to the same shit. Yeah, the seven of swords, so many lies and deception. I'm getting it happens repeatedly, eight of swords. Somebody continuously sabotages the situation. They ask for your forgiveness. They lie and cheat. They do all this grimy shit, and then they turn around and do the same shit again. It's constant, constant sabotage. Someone is cheating with the fire sign. Period. Who's the queen of wands? They're cheating with this fire sign. Who's the queen of wands? All right. Just period. Yeah, the judgment card. Or something. Yeah, the temperance in the reverse. Sagittarius energy. Scorpio energy here. Heavy in Aries. So what's the queen of wands in the judgment? So I feel like somebody's called it. Called calling out a truth here or or something like that somebody's calling something yeah what's the queen of wands in the judgment yeah i'm getting like something online or something that's being said out loud here queen of wands in the judgment yeah the star this could be a star somebody in the public eye all right Yeah, the Six of Pentacles and the Page of Wands. What's the Star card? Yeah, the Ace of Wands. So there's definitely somebody new or someone's attracted to someone online that they're watching. Yeah, in secret. It could be a Cancer. I'm getting a Cancer secretly in love with this, this person online or attracted to them. Yeah, because this the Star has this naked body. I feel like somebody's attracted to somebody's body. They are really attracted to them. Maybe somebody's thick or, so, or, or maybe you are. But I feel like it's jealousy or competition. This could be about work. I feel like somebody's trying to sabotage somebody else's shit. Cause chaos and shit in their life because they're jealous. So somebody's jealous of somebody else's shit. They're trying to cause change or they're trying to manipulate a situation for somebody. And their work because they're, they're, they feel like they're a rivalry or they, they, they're competing with them or, or whatever. And I'm getting that shit's backfiring. Somebody's going to pay for that shit. Whoever this is doing shit behind the scenes, being hateful, nasty, jealous, and vindictive, you're going to pay for that. I also feel like, like I said, if this that's not the situation, somebody is jealous because somebody's more attractive or um, somebody's secretly watching this person. Yeah, the Six of Wands is secretly watching this person online. Yeah, the Nine of Wands, Ten of Pentacles. Yeah, somebody that's very popular. Yeah, there's a Justice Libra energy. Could be a Libra. Yeah, somebody highly celebrated, but I'm definitely getting a third party. Somebody spends a lot of time, okay, thinking about this person, watching them, obsessing, looking at them. They could even they could even masturbate to this person or whatever the fuck. Or this is you, all right. But I'm I'm getting like a lot of chaos and bullshit and drama here by several people or several people attacking this star or this person. This could be you, Virgo. Several people in cahoots, but I feel like they're tired or wore out or wore down. It's not working, magician in the reverse. 
or somebody keeps trying to con you or play you or be nice, this is a way to, to get back in or try to trick you or some shit. It's not going to work. Yeah, because you're already aware, high priestess, of what the fuck is going on in the hermit. There you go. You're very wise. You're very enlightened. You know exactly what the fuck is going on. You you know that the what somebody's doing, all that. I'm kidding. It's going to backfire. Yeah, the nine of swords, six of six of pentacles. Somebody knows you know. Okay, period. What's the nine of pentacles and the queen of cups? Yeah, the world. It's over. You've learned certain cycles. You're complete. It, it's done. All right? You're not going to repeat the same cycles. You're not going to leave. Maybe you're going to another part of the world or the country. You could be traveling. Yeah, I'm getting something is dead. Yeah, the ten of swords. A cycle is done. Yeah, the worst part of a situation is over. The sun card is coming back out for the Leo energy. It's coming out. So whatever this betrayal is, this constant betrayal with the world and the ten of swords, I'm getting like constant lessons and betrayals, initiations and, and shit that you have to un undergo here. But I feel like with the sun, it's going to be a solution to all your problems. Something's going to work out for you. Maybe you're starting something new, you're creating something, you're celebrated, you're having fun, you're doing your thing, you're attractive, you're sexy, or somebody's like jealous of this sexy person online, somebody that's doing, yeah, I knew it, the Eight of Wands, that's progressive, that's winning, that's taking off, yeah, the Strength card and the Ace of Cups, this is like some competition type shit. It's like somebody's trying to cause chaos or, or create drama around somebody's life because they're jealous. Five of Wands, Eight of Swords, Seven of, or someone's trying to steal something or infiltrate somebody's work or business. This ain't going to work out for you, my nigga. I'm just going to say that. Okay, whoever the fuck this is, this this shit ain't going to work out. Yeah, the higher font. Taurus energy. Or this entity is, I feel like an entity is, trying to do something here. Or this Taurus, yeah, the Emperor, or this Aries. Yeah, the Ten of Pentacles, Ace of Pentacles, Two of Cups, Three of Pentacles. Yeah. So I feel like now somebody actually, they may want to work with you or make up or be friends or offer you something, give you something here. Somebody wants a family or they may even propose. They may even want to be, or, or if this is not, they want to work together or collab or they, they, they want to get, after they try to destroy you, after they were competing with you, doing spell work, the shit backfired on their ass or they're getting karma. Now somebody, or they're going to, real bad. Now somebody wants to be actually make friends or make peace with you after trying to destroy you, after trying to do everything in their power to, to, to destroy you, to bring something down for you that you worked hard for with the Eight of Pentacles. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm getting it's a no. I'm getting it's a hell no, a fuck no. I'm getting you're progressing, you're living your best life, and you're going to keep going, Virgo. Yeah, period. You don't want nothing. Yeah, the Nine of Cups, Ace of Cups. I'm also getting new love here. I, I'm getting you rejecting anyone and everybody from the past. You don't give a fuck who it is. What's the Seven of Wands or Eight of Cups? Yeah, the Chariot. Moving on. It could be a Cancer. You're moving on. You're walking away from this Cancer. You're leaving this person behind and you're blocking their ass. Yeah, this could be leaving a home with the Four of Wands or relocating. Yeah, you're, you're just gone. I see you driving away or in your car. You're done. Something is just, it's, I, I, I don't know. Yeah, the Six of Cups. Yeah, this is somebody from your past, somebody you're familiar with, somebody you can share, share children with, or somebody you've known since you were very young or whatever. All right? This could be somebody you share a child with, or this could be something about child support and children or something like that. But I'm getting you're done. Or, you, or, or, you're all, or you're thinking about the past, you're wondering if somebody was attracted to someone in the past or your child or something like that i'm getting i don't know what this is yeah it's like you're getting enlightened or you're starting to figure something out here yeah nine of wands yeah something is real grimy real real grimy yeah yeah something is real real grimy here all right but i'm getting yeah four of wands you're going to be completely comfortable domestic bliss having what you want be yeah the page of pentacles this could be about work yeah, the Six of Pentacles, Page of Wands. I'm getting good news, support, money coming in, Virgo. Nine of Swords, Queen of Pentacles. You could be worried about something here. You have nothing to worry about, Virgo. Everything is good, period. Somebody's trying to create chaos in your life, or this is your ass. Or trying to block somebody, or trying to, or competing with somebody else, or whatever. Because I'm really getting, like, competition with work. Somebody's really 
watching somebody else progress and watching them and they're trying to obstruct the feel or somebody feels left behind or I don't know what the fuck this is, man. But this is petty or stupid. And justice is here, man. What you put out will come back on you, man. So make sure that you ain't on some stupid ass shit. Because this is like some loser shit. And the same person that you keep taking back or that you, whatever the fuck, or that keeps coming back, maybe you're not taking them back. Because it looks like this time you're not, for sure. I just like they, they, they want to sabotage you. Somebody somebody does not have your best fucking interest at all. I don't give a fuck if this is somebody you've been with, you're married to, or whatever. Somebody may even try to buy you something very expensive, a ring, a piece of jewelry, something expensive here to keep you around, to say they love. But I just feel like somebody is like, it, it's just, this is just ongoing. But the world, Ten of Swords, is saying that something's ending abruptly here. It's, you're, it's just done. You've had this change. It's done. Yeah, this could be somebody you're married to with the higher font. A marriage is, it is, somebody is not devoted. They're not committal. They will stay around. They will commit to you, but they, they're, they're not, they're not um, devoted. They're, this is somebody that does not only have eyes for you. They have eyes for anybody that look good, especially people online or the star or whatever the fuck this is. Somebody will never truly be just exclusive with you or love you the way you deserve to be loved there is love here with the queen of cups but uh, I, yeah this 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 just looks really 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 reckless and very burdensome and weighed down okay yeah but i'm getting like a legal situation something is just here in a legal situation you're finally getting justice here as well but something is going to be peaceful four of wands is your overall energy so i'm getting you love your home your home is comfortable you're comfortable sun card nine of pentacles was your first card out strongest energy six of swords your guides are all around you you have a guardian angel here and you also have direct uh direction guardian choose your path so you are very much you are very much protected always virgo so those are your messages make sure to like comment subscribe share and follow